Alrighty folks, so today we're going to see what happens when a Jedi Academy veteran plays Vertex. Now Vertex is a pre-alpha uh, Jedi Academy clone, I guess you could say, but really it's not. Um, it has the same fighting mechanics, same uh, health and force power. You have two instead of three lightsaber styles. Your movement is a lot clunkier than, you know, Jedi Academy. It's what I'm basing the game off of. So we're going to see just how good I do today. Um... I'm gonna do some limited talking to it while I so I can concentrate. So uh, let's get into it. All right, seems nobody else wants to fight me. Okay, I might have put a little bit of a uh, punishment on these these guys the last 30 minutes. <laughs> oh god. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, fight me. Come on. Let's go. So, as you can see, there are limited servers right now, limited people on currently at 3 a.m. uh willing to play this game on in the US. So we do have some ping issues here. Easy kill, easy kill. We got 37 health though, so we took a beating there. No, this guy uh, plays a lot more defensively I've noticed than anybody else that I've dueled so far. Uh, he's trying to you know, make up for a lack of footwork with the um, blocking mechanic, which allows you to parry, just like JKA, but, you know, none of us Jai Academy players will ever have the chance to block. Oh, yeah. He is doing very well with that technique. Another thing, you can notice that uh, there is like no punishment time for just wildly slinging, swinging because you can pretty much just instantly block your enemy's attack after a swing. So I mean that's, that's one thing that devs could improve on other than making the movement feel a little bit less clunky. But timing always wins against randomly swinging. Even in JKA, my friends. Clean hit on him there. And there we go. <laughs> oh, it's not very fair. Not very fair. Let's see if this guy wants to duel me at 13 health. Uh, no. <laughs> if you look at the top left, no, not invincible. As you can clearly see there. <laughs> I probably spelled that wrong. I don't even care. All right. <laughs> but high damage, right? Nope. Alrighty. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my god, am I getting accused of being a hacker after 30 minutes of playing this game? Whoa, what was that? Okay, so we can see there are some uh, network issues there. Good fight. Good fight. No, I am... I'm simply just a veteran Jedi Academy player. That's, that's the title of the video. <laughs> Uh, these poor, these poor fools, they don't, they really don't know what they're getting themselves into, that's for sure. Probably ruining everybody's enjoyment of the game. Alright, so, we can see it's a little chaotic because this guy is uh, teleporting around like a madman. And I can't hit him. Oh, there we go. You see, I haven't taken any damage from him, thanks to his connection. Let's get that guy out of the way. All right. So, as you would know, um, poking is a big part of Jedi Academy. Dealing more damage is always going to be the quickest way to take out your opponent. Fanning isn't a thing in this game. Um, I mean, you can kind of like half fan, but it's not really going to get you anywhere. Or maybe. I don't know. I've never really tried it on anybody, to be honest. I just figured, you know, it's not really technically fanning, so. Alright, what are you going to do? There we go. So we got three clean hits there on our opponents, who are both teaming up to try to kill me, it seems. Let's see if it'll work in their favor. There's one down. Got a crouch hit on his chest there, which is going to do some pretty good damage. All right, let's try to get him with the underswing. Got him with the underswing. Too bad I can't do my uh, trusty lunge and fast style. All right. Okay, so we hit him in the chest there. Hit him in the back. Seems like almost swinging around that guy is going to be the way to take him out, for sure. Timing and... Swinging around and trying to hit him in his open. You can see after he swings, he has an opening. I don't know if you guys uh, have the eye for that. Maybe in slow-mo. You'll be able to see me hit him once I get him one-on-one. -on -one. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, Okay, random swing got me in the back. Good kill, though. Good kill. All right, here we go. This is. We'll see... I'm going to try to draw him to attack. Oh, now we got company. Try to take this guy out while watching this blue guy. There we go. I'll just take him out of the fight there. He does uh, surprisingly have some good footwork. So either he has a he has logged in a, a lot of hours in a short amount of time in this game, and has gotten used to the block and parry system. I need to concentrate here. There we go. So he's either gotten really used to the parry system, or you can see 22-9. Uh, that's not bad at all. Oh. Ooh, good swing, good swing. I tried to actually do what he does there. I wanted to see if 
I could block directly after. It looks like you actually do have to wait like a few, a second or two before you can, yeah, it's about a second before you can block. And you also have to hold the block button in this game. All right. Might be able to get him with a good little poke there. What if this guy has any experience in Jedi Academy? Got him with just the tail end of my saber there. Oh, this guy has come to life. All right. Ooh. So they're trying to block. I still haven't gotten used to the blocking mechanic in this game. He had a really white. Swing there. If you see that, very wide, very wide. Let's see what we can do about you. I did notice there are like random blade collisions um, when you're when you're walking around. Kind of throws throws you in. Oh, that's a good technique, getting around your opponent there. Thanks for the tip. All right, so with that, I'm going to call it. Um, so, Vertex, great game concept. Great game concept. You know, taking a game that is loved by so many over the years and making it into something that we always wanted, you know, something new, updated, however, still holding JKA and Outcast in our hearts um mechanics we always say like the mechanics and the combat is something we love to see in a future game and this game provides that to an extent it, it provides it to the best of its ability yes however uh after about an hour to an hour and a half of playing the game uh i do have a few criticisms uh as far as the movement goes so basically you when you're walking around on the ground that's great. Uh, movement is very solid. You can, you know, if you have basic skills and footwork, you can easily dodge enemy attacks and move around it. Rolling feels great. Jumping does not. The aerobatics in the game definitely need uh, a look at. You know, if you want to take some examples from another game, such as, let's say, Jedi Academy, the game I'm going with, to base it off of, you can jump and roll and wall run and do pretty much everything you could possibly want to do with your character movement. Uh, fluidly, I might add. It doesn't feel clunky, nothing like that. Something you could improve on would definitely be the aerobatics uh, animations. Now, uh, swinging your lightsaber. Swinging the lightsaber uh, or your sword in this game. Uh, it's not strictly based on Star Wars. However, with the inclusion of like plasma swords or quote-unquote lightsabers because of copyright reasons uh, I know there is a great love for the old Jedi Knight games uh, from the developers I would love to see you know a little bit more fluid swinging action maybe three different lightsaber styles like a Jedi Academy red yellow blue you have strong medium fast uh, you know you sort the damages from each style based on how slow and powerful and how fast and weak they are. Um, you know, being able to use and utilize those different styles to change it up and trick up your opponent or deal enough damage, start right at the start and then switch it up and have something fast and quick would definitely improve the combat overall in the game and make it a little bit more skill-based. Now, with that, I just want to go ahead and say I love what you guys are doing here. This is something that I have been waiting for for I don't know how long. Years upon years, I have always constantly went back to Jedi Academy in hopes that somebody would try to recreate the masterpiece, the combat masterpiece that was those games. 
And last but not least, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, go ahead and you can leave a like on the video. It would be much appreciated. doesn't really matter, to be honest. I'm not much of a YouTuber. Uh, like I said, this game just drew me to make a video about it um, with commentary at the end. Leave down below something I'd be interested in. Comments. Uh, let me know what you guys think of both uh, the gameplay. If you guys want to see some more of me like shredding average players in this game or even Jedi Academy, uh, let me know. Uh, also, let me know what you guys think of the game. Is it something that you guys like? Uh, have you guys tried it? Uh, what would you say the combat is like? compared to what I said, for example. Did I get anything wrong? Did I miss anything? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.